Hi everybody. During this video, I'm gonna tell you a bit more about my hair, uh, its texture, what I do with it generally, and also will spend quite a bit of time on the fringe because I think it's everybody's concern at the moment. So there we go. So my hair now is in its absolute natural state. I slip with my fringe up just because I don't want it to be in my uh, face oil or I don't want it in my face when I sleep. It's just, it's more convenient. I don't want it to get too greasy because fringes and sebum, it's not a good match. So I kind of pin it up, but here you have just my natural hair texture. So first question that I get a lot, do I dye my hair? I do not, and I haven't dyed my hair in like 10 years. Hair color. It is dark blonde, light brown, with ashy undertone. Summer is about to start, so I'm pretty sure that my ends will get lighter. Um, as you can see, I've got lighter pieces, but it's all due to the sun. I don't use any uh, bleaching products. I don't use any shampoo that can um, change your hair color. My hair texture is naturally straight. We see a little bit of wave, but it's not that, you know, I'm not curly, I'm just straight. I've got lots of hair, lots of hair. I, I tend to, People don't realize how much hair I have until they see me or until they run their hands through my hair. Um, <laughs> I have lots of hair, like really, I'm super hairy. So the trick to have a fringe that is kind of autonomous, so low maintenance, you don't want to spend your whole day trying to fix it. I've asked my hairdresser to cut it in a feathering manner. Every time a hairdresser comes at me with scissors like this, I scream and I run out the door. It's super okay to have a straight fringe, but my style is a bit more, it's in between curtain and this slight, you know, nonchalant French girl fringe. So let's unleash the beasts. To everybody that says your fringe is always perfect, uh, let's see. So, um, so that's what it looks like when it's not styled. How can I? So I'm not gonna go out the door like this. I could. I, I sometimes do, but you know, it's not the point of this video. Um, and I've got a cow's leg right here, so I gotta manage that. So there we go. Um, the bits around my, that frame my face are longer because I want, you know, to, to have some, uh, movement, some dimension. So the fringe is cut very lightly, almost layered. Depending on your hair texture, the fringe won't look the same. Of course, if it's curly, it will curl and it's beautiful. I love a curly fringe. I always say it, but people tend to get cut quite self-conscious with their curly hair or curly fringe. It's so great. Keep it. I wish I had curly hair. Isn't it always the case though? You have straight hair, you want curly, you have curly hair, you want straight. Human nature. Even though I have lots of hair, it's not that thick. It would do that naturally if I let it hair dry. It would look like you know, a 70s hippie girl in LA. So I use either a blow dryer with a round brush, but lately I found that using a uh, straightener, very thin one, I'll show you in a minute, was a little bit better and quicker and uh, time saving and sometimes I will keep that uh, part open in the middle and kind of you know just style it around my face sometimes I would just go for a straight bang and uh, sometimes I just stay blind when I don't want to see the world this is my straightener um, it's quite thin oh I hate to do that I look like a real beauty blogger look for travel travel hair straightener because as they're made for traveling, they are super, super tiny and they go so well under the fringe. They allow uh, more control over what you wanna do. Then it's quite, it's quite easy. Didn't invent anything. Um, 
I will still do sort of a curved motion to give a little bit of volume. But as you can see, I'm kind of turning it inward so it sits naturally it will sit on the side of my face that's what i want i'm tempted to say that's pretty much it once my fringe has the desired uh movement to ensure that the fringe stays matte and full and soft and to make sure that it will um manage itself I use a lot of dry shampoo. I'm using the Baptiste original uh, dry shampoo. In France, I use the Chlor Chlorane. I was about to say Chlorane. I use the Chlorane uh, dry shampoo for brunettes because my roots are a bit darker than the rest of my hair. So lately, I've been loving this product by Playa. It's called the Soft Volume Powder and that's exactly what I want. What I do is I kind of lift my roots and get some powder in and then massage that kind of lifting the roots that will keep my hair uh, looking matte and fresh and light for the rest of the day. I, li I like that bouncy feeling. For the rest of my hair, um, there are different things that I use. To make sure that my ends are not dry, I do coconut oil masks. I just slather my scalp, massage it really well, kind of make the blood rush to your scalp, which helps with growth. Um, and then on the rest of my ends, I, I'm not shy with it. I put like a, a handful of coconut oil in my hair, let it sit for an hour or two or overnight, but then you will have to change your pillowcase. Just cleanse it twice or three times even. For the rest, uh, for daily use, um, I don't really use conditioner. Since I use coconut oil, I would not use a conditioner when I wash my hair because it's too much. Uh, what I love to do though is a no rinse um, treatment. I've loved that one from Jizu. It's made out of uh, honey and I've used it quite a lot. I love it. It smells so good and it's so hydrating. And another product that I love is from Playa again, and it is their New Day Mist. It's like a hydrating water mist. And to finish off, some Jizu oil. Oh my god, and it smells so amazing. Oh yeah. And that is it for what I do with my hair on the daily. Um, hair is really important for me. It does not define your beauty, nor your gender, nor your value in any, any way. Um, you can be so beautiful with short hair, no hair at all, lots of hair, curly hair. I think the main thing when it comes to your own beauty and your own sense of self is how do you accept who you are and how do you translate that to the outside world so for me um even though i have manageable easy hair that is not uh the target of discrimination because it is the case um men and women are being shamed for their hair texture um you know they are being asked to change their hair nature and go against their own self so that's something that i find infuriating and i i'm aware that i'm, I'm not suffering from that for me and in my story i've struggled with having lots of hair because when you've got lot of hair on your head you've got lots of hair 
the rest of your body. When I was younger, I would be called names because, you know, when I started growing hair as a little girl, um, like, you know, body hair, which is related to how much hair you've got on your head. It's normal. Um, I felt the need to hide my hair and um, overall, as my uh, modeling career started, I was constantly, constantly, um, you know, the hairdressers would arrive on set and be like, oh my God, it's just too much work. Uh, you need to cut it. You can't have your hair long. You can't have so much hair because it's not easy to manage. Uh, so they would, I would always end up like this because it's easier and nobody wanted to deal with the amount of hair that I had. So many times I went and asked hairdresser to, uh, to make my hair thinner. Uh, so they would cut inside the, the hair huge amounts, huge chunks of hair, so it would be lighter. And then I felt like it was not really me and I was missing the weight, I was missing the, the you know, the feeling of it. I was, and as soon as now with, cause where I'm filming this video when we're uh, facing COVID-19. And so this break has allowed me to take a break also on my hair and let it grow back. I will not, let anybody else dictate what I should do with my hair because my hair is my property, it's my body. If I want it long, if I want it thick, if I want it pink, I'll have it that way. And if your natural hair texture is a trigger to somebody else or somebody else has a comment on your natural hair or anything that belongs to you in your body, if you decide to shave it, if you decide to have it green, if you decide to wear accessories in your hair, if whatever you want to do with your hair, that is your right. And nobody else can say anything about that. So on that note, I hope you all find uh, beauty in your journey towards self-awareness and self-knowledge. Uh, being aware when you go against your nature is one step away from the violence that you aim at yourself. So, all right, I'll see you later. I hope you enjoyed and bye.